Okay, so you've been asked to find all six trigonometric functions of theta is equal to 30, or pi over 6. It's not as difficult as you think it is, so well, with that said, I'll just get going. You'll need to know what the Pythagorean theorem is, which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. You'll also need to know the six trigonometric functions. Sine is equal to, excuse me, sine of theta is equal to a pi opposite, <laughs> I almost combined the two words there, excuse me, opposite over hypotenuse. You'll need to know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent, and that secant, excuse me, secant, cosecant, and cotangent are literally the flips of these first three over here, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, Cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, and the trend follows with this one to this one, and this one to this one as well. So taking this uh, equilateral triangle that I've already drawn over here, and splitting it in half is the triangle that you'll need to use to find the functions. So, given that there are three triangles, I mean, excuse me, uh, three angles within this triangle right here, I know that... I know, and you should probably know too, that the entire triangle will add up to 180 degrees when you add the angles up. So this side would be 60, this side would be 60, and, and this side would be 60. But if you weren't sure of that anyways, when you saw this triangle over here, you're given the fact that this right angle over here is 90. This one would be 30, because this is that 60 split in half. This one would then be 60, but that's not really necessary to know where we've been asked to find out what the values are at 30. So, using these over here, I can find out what the values of sine through cotangent are, all six of them. But before doing that, I'm sure you're wondering where that square root of 3 came from. I'll show you right over here. And this is what you need the Pythagorean theorem for. So, one side over here is equal to 2. I'll leave this over here so you can see this, and I'll point to each of these as I go throughout them. C squared is literally just C taken the square of, so well, let me try to reword that for you. 2 squared would be equal to C squared, so 2 squared is equal to 4. A squared is the side that we've been given right over here, and these ones can switch, it doesn't really matter at this point. All you need to know is that 1 is, your, is the side that's been given because I cut this angle over here that I started with in half. So if you cut two and a half, you just get one. Should make sense. So, square, excuse me, two squared is equal to four, one squared is equal to one, and we're squaring some unknown number that we don't know yet. So we just label that as x. Subtract the one from the one side, from that four right over here. You'll be left with three, and your x squared over here. Square root of x, square root of 3, leaves you with the square root of 3 is equal to x. So the unknown side that you didn't know what what, what it was before is now the square root of 3. 1 on the opposite side of the angle, and 2 on the hypotenuse. So now that you know what all the sides' values are, you can figure out what all 6 of them are. Sine of 30, again, is opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite side of the angle is 1, the hypotenuse is 2. So... 1 over 2. Cosine of 30, or pi over 6, is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. Excuse me, I pointed right, right down there, but I meant to point over here at this 2. So adjacent over hypotenuse. 3, negative, excuse me, not negative, square root of 3 over 2. Tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So, opposite, 1, over the square root of 3. While technically correct, you'll want to rationalize that denominator so it's on top. And the way you do that is by multiplying both the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. So, 1 times the square root of 3 is equal to 3. The square root of 3 times 3 is equal to 3. Excuse me, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 would be 3. Cosecant of 30 is going to be equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite. Literally, again, the flip 
of sine over, excuse me, sine, which would be opposite over hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse over the opposite side of the angle, 2 over 1, which can be simply written as 2. Secant of 30, or pi over 6, is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. So 2 over the square root of 3. Again, just like the tangent, this is technically correct, but you want that to be rationalized on the bottom. So in order to rationalize the denominator, same thing as, as before, multiply both sides of the fraction by the square root of 3. So you're left with 2 times the square root of 3 over 3. And lastly is cotangent, which is the, again, like the reciprocal, not like the reciprocal, is this reciprocal of tangent. So adjacent over opposite. I keep saying, almost wanting to say hypotenuse whenever I say opposite, so I hope that isn't confusing you. So adjacent square root of 3 over the opposite side right over here, which is over here. Sorry for the pause there, but the adjacent side is right over here to the angle, and the opposite side is on the opposite side of the angle. So square root of 3 over 1 is your final answer down here. And those are your six trigonometric functions for the angle theta is equal to 30 or pi over 6.